happens it's Sheree sorry for the crappy lighting but mama's gotta do what mama's gotta do so I really wanted to share this recipe with you guys a friend of mine shared it and I did not know how much we were gonna like it when she described it to me I was like I don't know I'm not convinced and then it's three ingredients and it's freaking delicious it is toddler approved father-in-law approved if my husband wasn't on keto it'd be husband approved it's super good and it's so easy you can throw it in the crock pot bam you're done um, so I knew I had to share this with you guys. Um, we have been eating it at least once a week <laughs> since I started making it. Um, and like I said, it's only three ingredients. So the points go from six to 10 points per serving, depending on the type of meatballs that you choose. I usually choose turkey meatballs, which are around one point each. Um, my store that I get them from was out of them this time. So I ended up having to use a different meatball. So the points were different in this best in this recipe. Um, but just choose the meatballs that you and your family eat and then change the points accordingly. You can use any sauce that you like. So I've used marinara, I've used a sugar-free sauce, I've used prego. You can use any kind of pasta sauce that you like. Again, lower points, lower points. Um, super good. Um, we can't stop eating it. So we couldn't think of a name for this dish. So we call it boobs and balls, but that's because we are immature. <laughs> So if you can think of a better, more PC name for this uh, delicious meal, uh, leave it down below. So let's jump into the recipe so you guys can just go ahead and start enjoying it. Hope you guys like it. If you have any questions, pop them down below. I will write out the recipe down below, but it's literally three ingredients. I don't know if you need that. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. So for this recipe, it is super easy. You just need three ingredients, which is why I love it. So you need three ingredients in a crock pot. You need a bag of meatballs. For us lazy mamas, we get pre-made ones. These are Swedish meatballs, which are six meatballs for eight points. But I usually buy the Kroger brand turkey meatballs because they're only one point per meatball. I'm pretty sure either way they're lower point than these, but they didn't have them. So we're going with this tonight. I'm just gonna track the points. You're gonna need one jar of your choice of pasta sauces. This is the one I'm going with. And then you need a spaghetti squash cut in half. And that's all you need. So once you have expertly chopped your squash in half like I have, I mean, what can I say? I'm a professional. You want to remove all them seeds. Um, I don't worry about the stringy bits because you're going to turn this into a stringy bit. <laughs> and then once you have it cut in half, you just put it into your crock pot. Of course, wash the outside and remove that sticker because don't nobody want to eat that. There's your boobies. Second time making this, and I'm gonna put just a little bit of water in the bottom, just like a fourth of a cup of water, because my meal kind of got a little bit dried out because I cook it longer than you're probably supposed to, because I'm lazy. So I'm starting this at like, mm, I think it's about 10.30 a.m., and we're gonna eat it around six. So let's do that math and science and see how it works out. So you're just gonna pour in your bowls. Okay, so now the last step is just to pour your pasta sauce over everything. Ooh, ah. Mm, I'm gonna set it to low because I'm cooking it for a really long time, but if you're wanting to do this um, faster, just put it on high for four hours, but I like to put it on low for like six. Um, Cause like I said, I like to start it early. So it's just ready after the gym or ready to go, all done. Ah. So here it is done. Looks delicious. It's all bubbly and nice. Now you just want to, you know, jiggle up the middle. So you make the spaghetti squash into the spaghetti part. Um, you can do this in the crock pot or put it on a plate. Whatever works for you. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And here we go. Now you're just going to stir it all up. You're going to stir it all together until it's nice and incorporated. And then you're going to serve it in a bowl. Why? Because that's how you eat it. And it's super freaking delicious. It's so good, y'all. Give this a try. Let me know what you think. Um, it's a staple in our house now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. 